I never get stuck, I don't think. I, um, let me think, do I ever get stuck? I don't think I do. You know, I'll stop. I'll go and go have a cup of coffee. I'll go out and hit some balls in the net or go out and chip for a while. I've got a little green out here and do that. But I take some breaks. I can always tell when I'm painting and I'm painting and I'm, you know, I'm working on this and all of a sudden, if I feel my mind start to stray, I stop because you have to really concentrate, you know. And so if you feel yourself starting to slip, the first thing that's going to happen is you're not going to really be concentrating. You're not going to do it the way you should. So it's better just to stop, take a break, and come back. It's seldom that I have to throw a painting away, but sometimes I do, you know. And I don't mind throwing them away. I can remember one time I took like 20 paintings and stuck a pitchfork through them. I learned a real valuable lesson from, uh, I did a lot of ceramics in graduate school, and I thought I was pretty hot stuff, and I had a really tough teacher, Herb Schumacher, and I was the first one to ever get an A from him the first semester, and so I thought I was pretty good, and I was in there, and I walked in one morning, and I couldn't find my pots, and I said, Mr. Schumacher, I saw him in the slump bucket, and I said, somebody threw my pots away. He said, oh, I did. And I said, why? He said, oh, the next ones will be better. <laughs> so, but, you know, and, and he said, and, and I think it's true, you, you can't, your work can't be precious to you. 